Mm-mm-mm. Hello goblins, it's Chris, Eldritch Pipes. It's an episode of this week's Pipes. <laughs> Believe it or not. It's Friday again. Now, sometimes I forget that... Well, I kind of always imagine that anybody who's watching this has been watching me for... A yonk. And I forget that sometimes we get new subscribers, viewers. Uh, and then they always say, what is that pipe you're smoking? <laughs> now, of course, if you're a regular viewer, you know, this is an acorn. It's my old beaten up shop pipe. It was probably one of the first acorns that I made um, and I treat it horrendously. But that's what the shape is. It's an acorn. So if you didn't know, now you know. I'm smoking actually. Some C and D exclusive, gifted to me by the very kind Terry Davy. It's an excellent vapor blend. I'm drinking some Corona. Now. <laughs> The original plan, I was expecting to have like four pipes available for the video. Because although I post the pipes first on Instagram, they, they, they rarely sell particularly quickly on Instagram, to be honest. Every now and then, it's true. Um, and sometimes they might sell in a day or two on, on Instagram. But this year I've noticed uh, Instagram has not been, like, so, so great for, for, for getting sales through. Um, I've usually been getting a lot of my sort of, what would you call them, uh, you know, Insta buy, <laughs> instinct buys, impulse buys, that was the word I was looking for, impulse, I got there in the end, my impulse buys off, off YouTube, and so I usually think that I'm saving my pipes for, uh, for this episode, for, uh, for a, a this week's pipes episode, but this week, I was going to go, surprise, I've got four pipes that I've made this week, and they're all available. But three sold on Instagram, like within five minutes of me putting them up. Which I cannot remember the last time that happened. It's very nice. Um, but it was, it was quite a surprise. So I only have one pipe that's actually available today. But, obviously I'm going to show you all the others anyway. Uh, one's a... So, so I've never made it before, it was just I had a block, I wanted to make a pipe with it. I wanted to make something that I'd not done before, and so I drew a shape on it and made it. And I like it. I was really hoping, this is, right, this is the thing about smooth pipes as well. At the beginning of the week, I thought, oh, it would be really nice if I could have one if not two smooth pipes i was looking at the sides of the briar and two of them looked absolutely spotless and i thought it could be and i cut the blocks out 
to shape and like they were still looking really good and I rough shaped them and they were still looking really good and I was thinking oh my god I'm gonna have two smooth pipes on my hands and then as I refined the shapes it all fell apart <laughs> and they didn't make smooths at all and that's life that's life you try your best to get a smooth but it hardly ever works out hardly ever all right oh yeah and one more other thing although i will be doing uh, this week's pipes next week i should imagine I don't think I'll have any pipes available because I've got to prep for the UK Pipe Show, which is next Sunday. It's the 13th? 13th, I think. It's that Sunday anyway. So I've got to have at least a handful of pipes for my table. Yeah. So... Let me show you what I was up to this week. A Guinness Prince. It's been a little while since I've um, emulated on the bowl, sort of emulated on the bowl, what, what's going on on the stem. It's how the original Guinness Dublin looks. Uh, but in the past I've kind of, I've, I've gone for the bowl being just black on the print. I didn't think there was enough height, but this time I thought, I just want to give it a go. and sort of did it. And actually it's kind of cool. So I might stick with this in the future. Just a medium blast. Some nice ring grain. Some nice straight grain. Just a really cool little pipe. Go on. Show it. Guinness Prince. No, not that one yet. This one. Another green and black print with the fingerprint rustication. I think I'm going with that one because it's easier to say, or snappier to say, than Stone Garden rustication. Fingerprint. Stone Garden. Fingerprint. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this one last week, uh, and it went to a home, so I thought I need to make another one. <laughs> They are fun to make. I might try and squeeze another one in next week. <laughs> I 
with the old Moss Cumberland. Very nice piece, actually. Oh, one of the pipes I've got to make next week <laughs> is for, we've got a new, um, or we will have, a new Four Horsemen box set. And I've got to make that one next week. If I don't, Ian's going to tell me off, and I, I don't think I could stand that. I couldn't cope with it. It's going to be quite interesting. Something I've never quite done before. The set's called Twisted. And all the shanks, or and either the shank or the bowl, or both, will feature like a twisted design. It's something that Ian does quite commonly and is very good at it. Uh, and the rest of us are going to be doing our best to see what we can produce. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be good. Uh, I've got to do the box as well. Can't forget. Must do box. Alright. This is the one that I just drew on a block and made it. <laughs> It's kind of neat, isn't it? I just had this kind of, like, idea in my brain. And then it, the block kind of, like, carried on down. And I was almost going to, like, take it off and have it, like, just curve up like there. But then I thought, actually, no. Coming down to, a like, a sitting point, it does sit. I don't know if I've got something it'll sit on. Nice, isn't it? Just kind of with this like long, slender stem. Uh, featuring the, um, I guess we're, we're going with fingerprint rustication, but with uh, a wider, a wider design. You're pretty nice. This one with my orange Cumberland. And when I was thinking what to call it, I went to Stephanie and I went, what are we going to call this shape? Uh, and she was like playing with it. And then I had it like that. And we went, wizard's hat. Look, wizard's hat. <laughs> so before I send this off, I've actually got to get a an outline of this shape, so if I need to make it again, I can do so. A neat little pipe. Kind of because of its small dimensions, it almost, like, if it was at a distance, it's almost like a church warden, but it's not a church warden. But I mean, like, in proportions, here is a church warden. And then, finally, this is the one that's available. Tis a famous eldritch strawberry. <laughs> Lovely little sandblast on it. Really, lots of great detail. Where's my phone pinging away?
with a half subtle stem, this time just in black, which I thought was kind of classy. I don't often do just a straight black stem, but um, I know a black stem appeals to a lot of people. And uh, I do make black resin. This is my resin, it's just pure black version. And uh, Cordovan stain. Which is this lovely sort of deep red, red, red chocolate brown, gorgeous stuff. I think Cordovan is, is the most often used brown that I use. In fact, I can't remember the last time I used a different brown. Cordovan is my favourite. There you go. So, a strawberry. Just a simple strawberry in classic pipe colours. If you're interested in that fellow, just send me an email. Or contact me on the web via various means. Alright, that's it. That's this week's pipes. Like I say, I should be back next week, but uh, it will be, on the Friday it will only be like two days to go before the pipe show, so uh, I'll be in the middle of trying to pull myself together. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Good luck, I'll see you next week. Till then, take it very easy. Your loyal pipe maker.